Hey ladies, so welcome to Nutrition Day. Nutrition Day is my favorite day because I love diving into the new nutrition plans for each and every single program that I do. So I always read the nutrition plan and today we're going to walk through it together. So first and foremost, I want to talk about one of the shifts that we're going to make. Now, I know that everyone is super excited to see the physical transformations that this program produces because it does. There have been stellar transformations before and after photos, but the biggest shift that you may not see in those photos is the way that people view their nutrition and view their food. So I know for me personally, I've always used food as a crutch, whether I'm happy, sad, anxious, feeling depressed, feeling down, feeling tired. I have always used food to make me feel better. And if I feel good, I use food to make myself feel even better than I already feel. It's like a reward system. I always reward myself with food no matter what I'm feeling. And we are going to make a shift with that. So first and foremost, the first shift we're going to make is viewing food as fuel. And I used to think, well, duh, if I didn't eat, I'd probably pass it on the ground like hyperventilating, dying because I'm not eating. But I'm not talking about that. We want to eat food that is going to make us feel good. We want to eat food and fuel our body so that we can work, um, you know, in our workplace, work with our kids, work with colleagues, work with our spouses at optimal levels. Because if we're poisoning pretty much our bodies with eating out, um, you know, fast food or eating really processed food, it affects every part of our being. So first and foremost, we're going to make the shift to think of food as fuel. That's first and foremost, okay? And then second, I want to give you a quick rundown on what exactly this simple shift nutrition program is all about. So first and foremost, the first week is going to be a balance of nutrients. So we're getting it all. We're getting the full spectrum. We're getting the entire rainbow. We're getting our proteins. We're getting our carbs in terms of our veggies, our starches, and our fruits. We have a healthy balance of um, like oils and vinegars and nut butters as well as healthy fats like avocado and cheeses and um, nuts as well, like walnuts, almonds, stuff like that. But in the second week, we're going to make our first shift with the nutrition. So we're going to decrease our starchy carbohydrates, but we're still going to be eating carbs. So that may sound confusing to you, but we're gonna get our carbs in the second week in terms of our veggies and our fruits, but we're getting rid of the starchy carbs. We're getting rid of one yellow container. So we're gonna decrease maybe the oatmeal, we're not gonna have as much oatmeal, or we're not gonna have as much sweet potatoes, right? And we're also going to start eliminating some legumes. So any of those beans or um, green peas or anything like that, we're gonna start eliminating the legumes. And then the final week is the complete shift in the nutrition plan, all right? And we're eliminating all starchy carbs. So you're getting no yellow containers. And you may be freaking out. I kind of did it first as well. But what we replace it with is more nutrient-dense carbs in the form of, you guessed it, fruits, veggies, and then we're also going to increase our protein as well. So... We're not totally lacking. We're not going down to 800 calories a day. That's not what this program is all about. You're going to continue in your calorie bracket. So by week three, you're still going to be eating. You're on plan A between 1,200 to 1,499 calories. You're just not going to be eating any starchy carbs, but you're going to increase your protein and you're going to increase your veggie content. All right. And during this week, Shakeology is key. So again, you're not having any of your starchy carbs, but Shakeology is an equal ratio of carbohydrates to proteins. That's why it's a great meal replacement shake, and it's giving you all the additional superfoods that you need your body to absorb and fuel your body. Remember, food is fuel. So we're fueling our body with the best source of ingredients, right? So second, I want to take you in and share with you the nutrition guide through Beachbody On Demand. So let me Share my screen here with you. All right. So here is Beachbody On Demand. And when you go into the Beachbody On Demand catalog, you're going to see the shift shop here for you. 
Hold on one second. My cats are trying to break in. Sorry about that. And you're going to see first your workout list, okay? But for the purposes of today and the nutrition plan, we're gonna go into your program materials. So you have everything broken out. So this is your getting started right guide, your nutrition guides, your calendars and tracking schedules, and then obviously if you need other languages of the material, they are here for you as well. But up at the top, we have our nutrition guide. So we're gonna open that first. Because this is not, if you've ever done the 21 day fix before, this is not like the 21 day fix in every single week. So you need to read the nutrition guide. All right, so first and foremost, we're gonna fill out the fuel analyzer. So make sure that you go through this. Don't just assume that you're going to be a specific plan because you don't feel comfortable eating 1800 calories a day. No, you need to make sure that you're completing the fuel analyzer up here and that you are filling it out. And if your husband or another girlfriend wants to do it with you, they should be filling this out as well. So for example, Chris and I, we're gonna be having different plans. So for me, my total score ended up being a zero and Chris has ended up being a five. So I'm going to be doing plan A and Chris is gonna be doing plan D. So obviously he gets quite a few more containers than me, right? And then next up is going to be figuring out, okay, I know I'm plan A and Chris is plan B. So which container categories correspond to the plan that I need to be eating? So my plan right here, and it breaks it down by week. So I can see in week three, these are all my containers. And this is pretty similar to what you may have experienced if you've ever done another Beachbody program with the containers before, like the 21 Day Fix or the 21 Day Fix Extreme. Week two is where it gets a bit different. So you see the increase in your veggies, your fruits are staying the same, your proteins are also increasing, Again, your starchy carb is going to be decreasing. Your healthy fats and your seeds and dressings and your teaspoons are remaining the same, okay? And then in the second week, they also tell you which supplements from the Beach Body Performance line that you are permitted to use. So you'll see in the first week here, they don't um, recommend using hydrate, probably because hydrate has a little bit more sugars um, in your body because it's replacing the electrolytes um, that you're losing and the workouts aren't as extreme. Um, so they don't want the added sugars into your diet. But you'll see here in week two, because the um, strenuousness of the workouts gets a little bit more, um, they will give you the option to include hydrate so that you can replenish the sugars that you're burning off because the workouts go up to 35 minutes and they're also a little bit harder for you. And then your final week, again, you're increasing your veggie, your fruits are staying the same, your proteins are increasing, you have zero starchy carbohydrates, your healthy fats, your seeds and dressings are remaining the same, but your teaspoons increase. And again, the Beachbody Performance Line, all three of the options, Energize, Hydrate, and Recover are recommended. So all you have to do is just figure out what plan you're on and then you know what containers you need to have at your disposal for those three weeks, all right? Next up are the food lists. So there's two food lists that I want to point out specifically. So if you've never done any Beachbody program before that uses any of the containers, please make sure that you read through each and every single food list so you can figure out, hey, I really like bananas. What food list would banana fall into? okay, bananas fall into the fruit food list, right? Okay, so just make sure, I mean, you may think that something is a veggie when really it's a fruit, okay? So just make sure that you're reading the food list if you've never done the container system before. But the two food lists I wanna point out specifically are the veggies and the starchy carbs. So your green container and your yellow container. First and foremost, your green container. Now obviously, let me scroll back up, they have the recommended servings for veggies for each week for you. Now these are recommended servings, but on the Shift Shop Nutrition Plan, they allow for all-you-can-eat vegetables. So if you are just dying by the end of the day and you just feel like your dinner didn't give you enough or maybe you're starving before dinner, 
add an extra veggie container in there to chomp on before dinner or after dinner or as another snack during the day because you do get unlimited veggies, but try to, the best that you can, follow the recommended servings for your containers. If you can't and you're just starving, dying, make sure to include another veggie container because you get unlimited of them. And then the second food list that I want to point out is the carbs food list. So this is your starchy carbs. And this is a new food list. This, is, this food list has never been done before in any of the Beachbody programs, okay? So in week one, they give you a recommended list of the starchy carbs that you can have for your yellow container. In week two, they reduce that list down to a very specific starchy carb list, all right? And then in week three, you have one recommended type of starchy carb that you can have. So please make sure that you read through this list. All right. And another thing I want to point out about this nutrition plan and the food list is your most healthy and nutrient dense foods are going to be at the top of the list. Now that's not to say that everything down at the bottom is completely crap because it's totally not. Everything on these food lists is healthy, but the more nutrient dense foods are going to be at the top of the food list. So what I always recommend to all the challengers that join us is pick a few different options that you would enjoy from the top, middle, and bottom of the list so it can give yourself some variety. And it's kind of cool to try new foods as well. Like I know that not everyone likes kale, but sometimes I'll add kale to my Shakeology and I won't even taste it, which is awesome. And it's right there at the top of the freaking food list. It's so cool. So I do want to recommend that you pick a couple of different options from the top, middle, and bottom, and not to eat just completely from the bottom of the list. And next up is gonna be our meal plans. So you have your plan that you're following, whether it's plan A, B, C, or D. And in the Shift Shop Simple Nutrition Guide here, they give you a week by week meal plan and corresponding shopping list. This is completely foolproof. You can literally take this, post it up on your fridge, take this shopping list side and bring it with you to the grocery store and you have your meal plan for the entire week. Me personally, I will be following the week one, two, and three meal plans that are included because it takes the guesswork out of it. I don't have to take time on my Sundays or on my Saturdays to plan out my meals. They are already done here for me. Now, if there's a specific container food that I personally do not like, then I'll just substitute it out with something on that same container list that I do like. But I love this, especially doing it with my husband. I don't have a lot of time to sit here and try to figure out what to do. This is completely laid out for me. I can just fold this in half. Here is my shopping list on this side, and then I've got my meal plan on the other side, and I can take mine and Chris's to the grocery store and be done with it. Now, if you wanna create your own meal plan, please feel free to do so. And you can use the recipe book, and I'll show you guys that in a second, in order to create your own meal plans. All right? Let me get through all of these. And that recipe book, guys, it's 81 recipes, and they break it out by meal. So they have breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snack Shakeology recipes as well, which I think is super cool. And so one thing I do want to say, let me stop share for a second, is if you're having a hard time with this meal plan and you're really, really struggling by week two, like let's say Tuesday, Wednesday by week two, you are so exhausted, you can barely keep your eyes open or you're having really bad headaches, um, then I want you to modify the meal plan a little bit. Try first, try first, always try first before you modify. That's one of the shift shop rules in the shop. Um, but try first and then modify. If you just cannot get rid of that starchy carb because you're getting insane migraines or you um, just feel so tired all the time, like you're constantly fatigued. It's not just like, oh, I need a 20 minute nap. It's like, I'm narcoleptic, I'm falling asleep all the time. 
then continue to keep that starchy carb in um, whatever you need to do. Okay, this is not about um, depriving ourselves in a bad way. We want to create healthy habits. We're not about starving ourselves here. Um, so I want you to try the meal plan before you modify the meal plan and say, I can't do it because saying you can't do it is a limiting belief. Try first, see if you can do it. And if it's just too much, if you're just like a raging crazy person, then modify the meal plan to fit your needs. Okay. And then another thing that you'll probably be surprised by because you're like, Oh my God, I can only have two fruits. I am used to eating like fruit all day long and snacks, right? That used to be me. I used to eat like three bananas a day. That's insane. Okay. Um, if you end up finding out that this is a lot of food for you, especially those that are used to skipping breakfast, or maybe if you skip lunch, or maybe you skip dinner, or whatever you skip, or you're just used to grazing all day, you're not used to having bigger meals, and you feel like this is a lot of food, I don't want you to stuff yourself until that you feel sick. That is not what this meal plan is about. You need to eat until you feel satisfied. That doesn't mean like eat a few bites of your food <laughs> and then throw it away um, because you need to be fueling your body with the right nutrients and you can't get nutrients if you don't eat anything. But I don't want you to stuff yourself so that you feel sick. That's not what we're trying to do with the portion control containers, okay? Um, let's see. Next is hydration. Share my screen again. Okay, so hydration. I know that some of you um, already know this, but I'm gonna go over it with you just in case you're wondering how much water should you be drinking daily? You're gonna take your current body weight and you're gonna divide it by two, and that is gonna give you your ounces per day that you need to be drinking while on the Ship Shop program, and really just life in general. A lot of us are actually dehydrated when we feel like we're hungry. When your stomach is growling, Try to take a glass of water and drink that, wait 15 minutes and see if you're still hungry. Most of the time, we are already past the point of dehydration when we're going to grab a bottle of water, okay? It's like way past it when we finally get the urge to want to drink water. So make sure you have your water bottle with you at all times, drinking the required amount of water, all right? And then if you're not a water fan, I know that I love my water plain, but if you're not used to drinking water, if you're trying to kick the soda habit for this group, then there's some recommended ways to make water taste better. And that's really just infusing it with um, like lemons and limes and fruits in general, or like mint or basil or rosemary leaves. I know that that is amazing. I love mint water with a little bit of, um, pineapple chunks in it and lime. It's so, so good. So if you think that water is boring, try to um, mix in a little enhanced flavor here. Um, what I will not recommend is getting those little squirt bottles that have artificial flavoring in it. Please don't do that. Use actual like whole fruits and veggies like cucumbers um, instead of buying those little like squirt bottles. I don't even remember what they're called, like crystal light or something. Please don't use crystal light. Use actual food to sweeten your water, okay? Coffee and tea. This is a big one, and I want to bring you back out, stop share, to talk to you eye to eye on this one, okay, ladies? So I know that some of you um, drink black coffee. Congratulations to you. I know I'm one of the black coffee drinkers. I've been that way for about four or five years now, um, but some of you have not kicked the habit of pouring pounds of cream and sugar into your coffee. And I want to challenge you during this group to try your best to modify your coffee in a healthier way. I'm not saying that you have to go completely black coffee during this three weeks. That'd be a really cool challenge if you really want to challenge yourself, but I want you to try to ease out of putting a ton of artificial or even real sugar into your coffees. And I want you to try to ease out of using dairy creamers. Try to use a tablespoon of almond milk, try to use vanilla, try to use hazelnut, like all natural hazelnut, not like the Starbucks hazelnut pumps that are filled with artificial crap in it, okay? 
Um, but I really want you to, to challenge yourself. This is all about a mental shift with food and that includes what you're putting in your beverages to sweeten them or make them artificial, all right? And I know that it's hard. I know that um, my husband is going to try to do his best during this. He's used to putting his caramel cream, whatever flavor called natural flavor in his coffee, but he's gonna do his best. So I want you ladies to try to do your best as well to not um, spice up your coffee so much. And there, but if you do need it, you do need to spice up your coffee a little bit. There are options here. And like I said, um, non-fat milk or some almond milk, but it's not like a half a cup of it. It's one to two tablespoons of it. Um, pumpkin spice is really good during the fall. I love that. And then in my tea, I usually just put um, hot water with lemon. Um, that's my favorite. That really gets me energized first thing in the morning. Um, and stevia is the... Um, only sweetener that I use in my coffee on the weekends. Now, as far as numbers of cups to drink a day, they recommend three to four eight ounce cups a day, um, mostly because coffee decreases our appetite and we want to make sure that we're getting our recommended container counts in a day. And if you're sipping on coffee, especially if you're like me and you're a sipper on coffee till noon sometimes because work life kind of gets in the way, then you're not eating your container. You're just drinking coffee for three hours in the morning, all right? Next up is our Shakeology. So I want you to drink Shakeology every damn day. That's right, I said it. Every damn day, we are gonna be Shakeology drinkers. Why? Because it's the best class of ingredients sourced from all over the freaking world and because you paid for it. And I don't want you to waste your money on something that you're not going to use. And I personally know that Shakeology helped me, in addition to the 21 day fix, being my workout and nutrition plan, helped me lose the 13 pounds that I need to lose to get back on track, feel more confident. And it definitely gave me the energy that I needed to get through my days. And bonus, it freaking tastes amazing and it really helped curb my sweet tooth. They have all these awesome recipes here for you to use with the container counts. And I, I wanna talk about the container counts in Shakeology. So one scuba packet of Shakeology equals one red container. But if you're adding things to your Shakeology smoothies, you need to add the appropriate containers in. So for example, if you're gonna add a large banana, um, half a large banana, that's one purple that you're adding in, all right? If you're adding in spinach, one cup of spinach, you need to add in a green container. If you're adding a fourth of an avocado, you need to add one blue container in here. All right, so just make sure that you're adding the appropriate container counts. Otherwise, you could be overeating in a specific food category. And then finally, I want to talk to you about the Beachbody Performance Line. So these workouts, ladies, they're going to be challenging. I'm not going to BS you, like I said in the welcome video, which is why they recommend the Beachbody Performance Line and why I personally stand behind this line because. I drink this stuff every single day for my workouts. I drink my Energize to motivate me and give me the energy pre-workout, and it helps delay my exercise fatigue. I know that I can go longer and I can push harder when I drink the Energize because it gives me the extra energy boost that I need without giving me all the shakes and the heart palpitations. The Hydrate, um, most of the time it gets compared to like Gatorade, so it's like a considered like a performance drink, but it doesn't have as much sugar in it as Gatorade does, which is absolutely insane, the amount of sugar that Gatorade has in it. It says nine grams of sugar in it. So it's replenishing the electrolytes while you're working out. Again, on the first week, they don't want you drinking the hydrates because the workouts are not as intense, but as we go on in the weeks, they do recommend the hydrate, and I know personally I will be drinking this. Recover is a lifesaver. It comes in orange and it comes in chocolate. I personally have the orange. It tastes like a little orange creamsicle. You mix it with water. 
after a workout. Now, most people would say, oh, just drink the recover after weight day. That's not me, okay? I'm gonna stop share here for a second. I get really sore even after I do push-ups, after I do lunges, after I do burpees. So I drink the recover every single day that I'm working out and I know that tomorrow, like my shoulders are gonna be on fire. I'm rarely gonna be able to sit down on the toilet to go pee because I did like 50,000 squats, right? So it helps with muscle recovery, muscle fatigue, so that the next day your muscles are not so tight and they have recovered overnight. Now that's not to say that you're never gonna have any type of soreness, but it definitely helps alleviate that pain, <laughs> okay? And so that is the Simple Shift Nutrition Guide. You can either print it out like I have, so I printed ours out, um, and read through it. So don't just take me talking to you over this video as your way of saying, oh, I have the nutrition guide. No, I want you to read it cover to cover. Let's see how many pages it is. There's some stuff in the back you don't really need. It is 63 pages. I want you to read all 63 pages. And I want you to understand the Simple Shift Nutrition Guide front to back because this is not like any type of nutrition that you have ever had before. This nutrition guide is going to help fuel your body. This is definitely food as fuel, people, because these workouts are intense. They're hard, they're going to test you, and this program is meant to build confidence by testing your will. That's, it's simply what it is. This is gonna be a total mindset shift, and remember to eat like you love yourself, right? Eat like you love yourself, have respect for yourself, have respect for your body from the inside out, and trust me, you will see results. So, if you have any other questions about the nutrition plan, how to access it, please let me know. And again, I'll share this with you real quick. So if you don't want to do this meal plan that I talked to you about, you can go back into your program materials and you can look at your recipe booklet. It says 81 recipes. They're broken up by meal types, so breakfast, lunch, and dinner and by week so that you know, okay, this is a week one meal, this is a week two meal, and by week three, I'm obviously not gonna have any starchy carbs. 81 meals, ladies, that's a lot of meals. I would definitely take advantage of this. Like, how amazing does this look? It looks freaking bomb diggity. I'm all about trying new things, I'm so excited that they gave this test as a resource. This is like the biggest recipe book I've ever seen besides Fixate, which is Autumn Calabrese's special recipe book. All right? And make sure you read through all of your program materials. So like up here, your agility markers. So if you didn't want to buy them, you can print them out, blow them up, and get them ready. And then your jumpstart guide. This walks you through the beginning process to jumpstart your journey. All right. So again, any questions whatsoever about the nutrition guide, how I can help you, maybe you need to make some modifications because you're either going to be eating paleo or um, you're a vegetarian or vegan, reach out, let me know, and I would be so happy to help you through that process. All right, ladies, I hope that you have a great day and let's get our nutrition on. Bye.